Second earthquake in two weeks. Is Ethiopia's Rift Valley reaching a breaking point? Hello and welcome. I am Afmea Yale and you're watching News Analytica. For the second time in less than two weeks, Ethiopia experienced an earthquake on Thursday. This 4.6 magnitude tremor, centered near the Awash Fentale area, comes on the heels of a 4.9 magnitude quake recorded on October 6. Both tremors, felt as far as Addis Ababa, have caused concern across the country. The Awash area, sitting along the East African Rift Valley, is no stranger to tectonic activity, with over 38 earthquakes of similar magnitude recorded in the last year alone. While no severe damage has been reported from today's event, the persistent movement along the fault line reminds us of the volatile nature of the region. As we delve deeper, we will explore the forces driving these geopolitical shifts, their potential long-term impact on Ethiopia's landscape, and how local communities are preparing for the challenge ahead. Ethiopia's Awash region, part of the Eastern Africa Rift Valley, has seen a surge in seismic activity over recent weeks. The most recent earthquake with magnitude of 4.6 follows another of 4.9 that struck on October 6 of 2024. Both quakes were centered around Awash Fentale and caused some structural damage in surrounding areas. Tremors have reached as far as Addis Ababa, unsettling residents across the capital. The activity has raised fears of stronger quakes or even volcanic eruptions due to the region's underlying geology. The East African Rift Valley is one of the most geologically active regions in the world. It is where the African plate is slowly splitting into two smaller plates, the Somali and Nubian plates. The rift, stretching over 3,500 kilometers, is a dynamic region, constantly shifting as the tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface move apart. This rifting process has been ongoing for millions of years and is responsible for the earthquakes and volcanic activity seen in the region today. Some scientists predict that millions of years from now, the Horn of Africa will separate completely from the rest of the continent, creating a new ocean basin. In the short term, however, communities in and around the Rift Valley face the immediate threat of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The region's unique topography, characterized by steep fault lines and highlands formed by volcanic activity, adds to the complexity of these seismic events. Over the past decade, Ethiopia has experienced numerous earthquakes, most of which have caused minimal damage. However, the potential for more destructive quakes remain a concern. The Rift Valley is also home to several active volcanoes, including Ertale, which is one of the few continuously active lava lakes in the world. The impact on local communities, particularly in rural areas like Awash Fentale, has been significant. The October 6th earthquake caused ground fissures and damage to homes, prompting fears of further seismic events. Local authorities and universities, including Samara University, have been conducting assessments to determine the extent of the damage and raise awareness about earthquake preparedness. The university's geology department has advised residents to avoid mountainous regions and areas near dams, where the risk of landslides and further tremors is high. Efforts to understand and mitigate the risk associated with these natural disasters are ongoing. The Ethiopian government, along with international geological agencies like the U.S. Geological Survey, is closely monitoring the region. Advanced technology allows scientists to predict where earthquakes will occur, but pinpointing the exact timing remains elusive. This uncertainty poses challenges for disaster preparedness, particularly in regions like the Rift Valley, where tectonic activity is constant. Looking back, the geological history of the East African Rift offers insight into its future. The rift formed around 25 million years ago and has been slowly evolving ever since. Today, it serves as a living laboratory for scientists studying continental rifting and plate tectonics. The ongoing seismic activity provides valuable data that can help predict future events and improve safety measures for the people living in the region. The recent earthquakes in the Awash region are reminders of the volatile nature of the East African Rift Valley. While the immediate damage has been minimal, the long-term risks remain. As the rift continues to evolve, it will shape not only the landscape of Ethiopia, but also the lives of the millions of people who call this region home. Earthquake preparedness and continued scientific research are essential to mitigate the risks and protect these communities from future disasters. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.